A question for you. Do you recognize this guy? He may be the best kept secret in the race for president. He may be the best kept secret in the race for president. I'm Ron Paul. I'm a congressman from Texas, serving in my 10th term. I am the champion of the Constitution. You voted against the war. Why are all your fellow Republicans up here wrong? You get the sense that the country is desperate for someone to show us the way. Not the old way, not the same way, but a new way. But after I saw you in the debate, I said, you know what, this is a person who I really want to talk to a lot more. We should come home. It was a mistake to go, so it's a mistake to stay. The weapons weren't there, and we went in under UN resolutions, and, and our national security was not threatened. We're more threatened now by staying. You just never heard this logic from someone who's actually going to run the country. Got Ben Affleck here. They're screaming yeah. for Ron Paul. Ron Paul, who has a huge internet following. He's a congressman. Who are the true patriots? Those who conform or those who protest against wars without purpose? A physician who's delivered more than 4,000 babies. Ron Paul has been married to the same woman for 50 years, which means he doesn't come to the race with a lot of the assorted baggage that some of the other candidates for the White House do. Ron Paul, who raised more than $5 million in the third quarter. $4.3 million raised online in a 24-hour period. Uh, yesterday for the Ron Paul campaign was the largest, largest primary fundraising day in the history of political campaigns. Do you know that we raised $4.3 million in one day? Without, without spending one cent, we didn't even pay an individual to go out and they weren't professional fundraisers. It came in here, it was automatic. We're struggling to figure out how to spend the money. Paul surprised the political world today, his campaign announcing he'd raised $5 million in the past three months. That's more money than some candidates who've received much more notice. The Ron Paul people are all over the country. They are. They are. So here's the question. Should more people be listening to what Ron Paul has to say? You appear to have consistent, uh, principled integrity. Americans don't usually go for that. You voted against the Patriot Act. I did. You voted against the Iraq War. Yeah. Warrantless searches, we've lost habeas corpus, we've had secret prisons around the world, and we have torture going on. That's un-American. The issue is, who regulates us? That's the only issue. It's not whether we endorse bad habits or good habits. We endorse freedom. It just might be that freedom is popular. Governments can't protect individuals from themselves. It's just impossible. Otherwise, they become a tyrannical state. A humble foreign policy, no nation building, don't police the world. That is a conservative, it's a Republican, it's a pro-American, it follows the Founding Fathers, and besides, it follows the Constitution. The people in this country like a strong president. And I got to thinking, well, how can I run you know, for an office like this and say, I want to be a weak president. <laughs> but you know what? The answer to that is we should have a strong president. Strong enough to resist the temptation of taking power that a president shouldn't have. I don't want to run the world. I don't know how to run the world. The Constitution doesn't give me the authority to run the world. We ought to mind our own business. There. cannot force our freedom principles on anybody around the world. It just doesn't work. This is just powerful. 
you know, I have my shortcomings, but the message has no shortcomings. The message of liberty is what America is all about. And the more people hear about this and the more they understand, all of a sudden this has gotten so popular, way beyond uh, what I had conceived. There's something going on in this country and it's big. It's really big. to be lucky enough to be part of it. 